Hello class, this is section 1.2 and we are going to discuss Fourier's law. Uh, Fourier is, I'm probably mangling the pronunciation, but um, Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier was a French physicist and mathematician. Um, he was very interested in the problem of heat conductivity, so you will hear his name a lot in the, this course. The Fourier's law really comes from four really straightforward observations, so we're just going to list them out. Firstly, if a material has constant temperature, if every part of that material has the same temperature, we can conclude that this means that no heat energy is flowing. Because if everything's the same temperature, why would the heat travel at all? Our second observation is that if there is a temperature difference, heat must flow from the warm regions to the cold regions of a material. If one part of uh, the material is 100 Celsius and the other part is 50 Celsius, clearly heat is going to flow from the 100 Celsius part to the 50 Celsius part. The third principle is that the greater the difference in temperature, if the hot region is a lot hotter than the cold region, the faster the energy flows. The fourth principle is that the flow rate is going to be different for different materials. This makes sense that, for instance, iron, heat will flow through iron faster than it will flow through wood or rubber. Now one way we can summarize these facts is to just say that flow is proportional to temperature change between regions. Proportionality is a relationship which means that the two things that are proportional increase and decrease at the same rate. So for instance, if um, the temperature change doubles, if the temperature difference doubles, then we expect the flow of heat to double in rate as well. If the temperature change halves, we expect the flow in heat to reduce by half as well. We now want to express this fact mathematically. Now remember, uh, you might have learned this in differential equations of physical math. To say that two things are proportional is to say that their ratio is a constant. So flow is represented by phi xt, we learned that in the first video. And the temperature change between regions is represented as the partial x derivative of u xt. Now please note that this is an x derivative and not a t derivative. We are interested in the temperature change between different regions of the rod. We are not interested in how the temperature changes over time. So they are proportional, so this means that their ratio is going to be a constant which we call k0. Now, but it is conventional to put a minus sign in front of the k0, and this is because we want the constant to be positive. So remember to do this, even though it's not mathematically necessary. All the formulas that you will see in this course, and even outside this course, will make that assumption. So please just remember to put a minus sign there. So anyway, this is what it means for two things to be proportional. And you may note that if you double phi, it means you have to double the derivative of u as well. If you halve phi, you have to halve the derivative of u as well. And that's, that's why proportionality is described as the constancy of the ratio of two functions. k naught is known as thermal conductivity and this constant tells you how quickly energy, heat energy flows through that material. The higher the thermal conductivity, the higher the better that material conducts heat energy and K0 is always positive because of the minus sign we included there and one of your homework problems is to figure out why it was necessary to introduce that minus sign to ensure that K0 is positive. The last step is to simply move the derivative of u to the right hand side and we get 
this equation, which is known as Fourier's law, governing the conductivity of heat. 